Hey guys, what's up? Thanks so much for stopping by. If this is your first time here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you the rundown of Ulta's upcoming 21 Days of Beauty. This is going to start Sunday, August 29th and go through September 18th. If Ulta 21 Days of Beauty is new to you, basically every day they do deals where items are 50% off. Typically it's like two, sometimes three items per day. And then on some days there'll be like a surprise deal, both available online and in store. And just a heads up, if you miss out on the Ulta one, typically, Sephora is playing copycat over there and they're running the same deals. It might not be every single product, but 99% of the time they are the same products. And then one other tip that I wanted to share, if there's not an item that you like, but you have a beauty lover in your life, this is the time that I would recommend picking up items here and there to get Christmas shopping done out of the way. That way you're not getting slammed like, a week before Christmas and blow in all your money because you were a last minute shopper. So the very first day is Sunday, August 29th. Now, after looking at the calendar, I realized Sundays are the days that Ulta seems to be doing the surprise extra deal. I'm hoping the surprise is gonna be something good because to be honest, I'm not too crazy about either of the items. First up is the Ferreo Luna Mini 3. It's like a 30 second little silicone rubber based cleansing sort of tool. I know a lot of people like them. I haven't used a Clarisonic or a Ferreo in quite a while. That will be on sale for $79.50. As I mentioned, everything's pretty much 50% off. And then the other item is a foundation that I know I totally hate. Both of these products are actually first time deals for the Ulta 21 Days of Dude duty <laughs> ulta 21 days of beauty it's the tarte amazonian clay foundation anytime i'm talking about like a thick or a whipped foundation or just a foundation that i think is way too full coverage i always either reference this one or the kat von d lock it tattoo foundation if either of these are favorites of yours don't take it personally but hey i guess the 29th will be your day because the tarte amazonian clay foundation will be on sale for 19.50 moving on to the next day we have august 30th now this is where a complexion product comes into play that i am interested in it is the smashbox halo healthy glow tinted moisturizer there's 12 different shades it's going to be on sale for 19 dollars if you guys have this in your collection, whether you love it or dislike it, let me know down below. It had pretty good reviews on the Ulta site. There were almost 1,200 reviews with 4.4 stars. I mean, when I looked at it, it looked like four and a half stars, but I guess Ulta's being real honest, it's 4.4 stars. But glow, tinted moisturizer, healthy, those are like all keywords for me. I've been obsessed with skin tints lately, so I'm really interested in this. In fact, I have to go by Target today. I may slip into Ulta as well and give it a swatch, see if it's good. If it is, I'm gonna add it onto my calendar. And then the other product is actually a skincare kit. It's from Estee Lauder. It's one of the advanced night repair kits. It's gonna retail for $25. I'm guessing all of them inside are travel size products or I guess the deluxe size. You have the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Serum. I know that's a cult classic. I used to love that, but I actually have another product that I use more that's on the same list. But in there, I believe it's like a face cream, a serum, and then a sample of their eye cream as well. Okay, next up, we have August 31st. The Cover Effects Blush Duos are gonna be on sale for $19. I had this on my list last year, and then it sold out, or was it during spring? No, I think it was last year. In the shade of Spiced Cinnamon, that one or Honey both look really nice. These have been around for forever and a day. Honestly, I don't need any blushes, but I love blushes, especially ones that have like a matte and a shimmer combined. If you have a go-to shade, leave it down in the comments below, but I'm pretty sure I have my heart set on Spice Cinnamon. And the other deals both come from Peach and Lily. One of these I've actually finished up to the entirety. It's the Refining Glass Skin Serum. It's gonna be on sale for $19.50. I can't remember all the ingredients in here, but I know some of the key ones were niacinamide just to help brighten the skin, hyaluronic acid to help absorb moisture. There was some sort of peach extract, I actually really liked it for a daytime product before I applied my makeup. If you like really thin, sort of like slippery serums, I think you would like it. I don't know how much brightening I necessarily got, but when it came to a hydration factor, I definitely noticed a difference. The other item is actually gonna be a first time deal for the 21 Days of Duty. It's the Pure Peach Ret Retinoid you say it eye cream at that one's on sale for $21 the reviews on this were kind of like down the middle it was three and a half stars there weren't too too many reviews 
If you have it, let me know what you think. I'm pretty happy with my eye creams as of right now, so I don't think I will be getting that. All right, now moving on to September 1st. This says that it's a first time deal. Maybe it just hasn't been at 21 Days of Beauty, but Ulta's definitely done the sale before where the MAC matte lipsticks will be on sale for $9.50. Don't get me wrong, I still like my MAC lipsticks, but it's not a formula that I rush to anytime that I do my lips. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out some of my favorite mattes in my collection and do some swatches for you, but I don't know how helpful that will be because it says select matte shade. So I don't know how many are gonna be on sale. Then the other one is their Prep and Prime Lip Primer. To be honest, while this is a product that works if you're someone that does not like applying lip liners because it keeps your lips gloss, not lip glosses, lipsticks from like feathering out, I do notice that it can be a little bit drying. I remember at first when I got it, I was like, oh, you know what? I'm just gonna use this as a lip balm. No, it definitely is like a primer sort of product. Neither of those are on my list, but this isn't on my list, but I do think it's gonna be on my gift shopping list. And if it's something that you've had your eyes on, I would 10 out of 10 recommend it. The Too Faced Natural Nudes Born This Way palette is gonna be on sale for $24. This is hands down one of my, well, it is my favorite palette from Too Faced, but it's easily like in my top five palettes. I adore this palette. I have an entire video on it. I think I did an Instagram reel on it as well. It's just beautiful. If you love nudes with like rosy tones, if you are an upcoming bride, this is such a great bridal palette in my opinion. If it's in your color family, pick it up. I promise you will have no regrets. So we have September 2nd. This is another day that I'm so excited for. I know before and many times I've said that drugstore mascaras are where it's at, specifically Maybelline, but out of all the high-end mascaras that I've tried, this is one that I really do like, and they've actually had these mascaras on sale before, but for whatever reason in the past, they never included waterproof, which I thought was so rude. But this year, all of them are gonna be on sale. If you have straight lashes that are stubborn and this formula holds them up, but it does a great job adding volume in them, I mean, Monsieur Big is definitely a good name. They make them just big and oh, so good. I love this mascara, so I will definitely be getting it. Along with the mascara, I feel like they typically do this, the Lancome by Facile Eye Makeup Remover. That's gonna be on sale. They have two different sizes for 16 to $21. I personally never really use eye like designated eye makeup removers anymore because I go, always go in with some sort of cleansing balm or cleansing oil and that gets everything off. The toughest of waterproof mascaras, it just melts it all off. One other product on September 2nd, the Skin Iceland Micro Needle Eye Patches are gonna be on sale. They have a four count as well as an eight count. I've tried these before and personally, I prefer the Hydro, I think it's like Hydrogel Cooling Patches more. Um, I have so many eye patches in my collection, so that's not on my radar, but honestly, I didn't love the micro needle one. So if you are looking at those and were wondering, I feel like you could get cheaper eye, ba eye bags, <laughs> eye patches for your eye bags and you would like them just as much. I'll go ahead and leave a pack of some of like my favorite kinds down below, but yeah, I don't know. Four to eight count for seven to 16.50. Still just kind of sounds meh to me. Moving on to September 3rd, if you are a falsy lover, this will be your day. Select Prestige Lashes. They're gonna be on sale from $6 to $15. I've said this before, but I've been loving my babe lash to where I just don't really ever wear falsies anymore. But I know a lot of us still do, so that will be a day for you. The other item are these supplements. I swear they do these every year, the Cero Vital Advance. They must be popular, or, or Ulta just wants them the hell out of their store because every 21 days of beauty, they're always on sale. It's a 180 count bottle for $59.50. So that's all that we have for September 3rd. Moving on to September 4th, I think this will be another popular day. The Benefit Precisely Brow Pencils, that's the thinner brow pencils, which I do like those. I typically use, I think, either 4.5 or five. Those are gonna be on sale for $12. And then the other product is the Tula Brightening Vitamin C Drop Serums. Those are gonna be $24. I know Tula is always all over Instagram. I tried like a couple of their products and I wasn't blown away. I'm really surprised that they didn't put the primer on sale instead. Whenever it comes to Tula, I feel like that's the main product I always hear people lusting for or raving about, but vitamin C drops. I have a lot of vitamin C products, serums, oils in my collection, so I will be passing on that. Next, we have September 5th, so this is another Sunday. That means there will be another surprise deal. We will have two different skin products available. First up is the It Cosmetics Hello Results Wrinkle Reducing Cream. This is going to be on sale for $34.50. My mom loves the night cream that comes in the deep blue jar. 
I swear I've given her this one as well too. I'm gonna have to send her a picture. She likes this one. This is so funny that this showed up because I've had this for years. I see use it all the time. I kind of forgot about it and I actually just used it again last night because my chin just felt like lumpy, bumpy, and gross. The PMD Personal Microderm Pro, this is definitely a pricey item. It's on sale for $99.50. If you've never heard of these before, basically you get this little wand item and then all these different microderm sticks or not sticks, like discs. You put them in, there's different levels of abrasiveness and so I just used that all over my chin last night and I definitely woke up with a feeling much smoother me rubbing it obviously does not help there we go get that double chin in check um the PMD doesn't help with that I was just pointing that out because <laughs> why not all right we're going all over the place here. Next up is Monday, September 6th. I'm so curious about this product. I've smelled the Lancome La Vie S Belle before. So many people said it was like flower bomb. I could smell this like same notes at first, but then once it dried down on me, it just smelled very, very mature and powdery. Not quite my vibe. But the reviews on this one, it's the La Vie S Belle Happiness Drops. It's gonna be on sale for $19.50. I know, if you're like, whoa, $19.50 for a perfume, it's half an ounce though, so just keep that in mind. It is a smaller bottle, but this had almost 7,200 reviews with 4.7 stars. Some of the descriptions on it say like warm vanilla with spun sugar, which I don't know about you, but that just sounds like amazing fall cozy vibes to me. If you have this perfume, let me know how it is. Either way, I'm gonna go smell it. I hope it smells good because I will definitely be getting it if so. And then the other item is actually one that I have a sample of. I need to try that this week and see how I like it. Although testing an eye cream once or twice doesn't really tell you much, but this is from Dermalogica. It's their Biolumin Vitamin C Eye Serum. It's going to be on sale for $35. I've had pretty good luck with Dermalogica products though. I actually really like their pre-cleanse oil. I've definitely found like cheaper alternatives, but that one is really good. What else do I like? Um, just their normal like cleansing gel is really good too for like mornings just because it's more simple and just seems very nice and fresh on the face. Tuesday, September 7th, we have the Stila Stay All Day Smudge Sticks Waterproof Eyeliners. These are going to be on sale for $11. While I love the shade, I believe it's called Lionfish. It was the brown that came in the old school, like in the light palette. Is that right? In the light, in the garden. I think that's the right name. Those cardboard palettes. Oh, that was like the very first eye pencil that I ever fell in love with. It was just such a beautiful, rich brown. But if you are looking for a long wear pencil, those are a great option, but I always feel like I went through them pretty quick. Something that I do think is worth it though, if you're looking for a rich brown, it's not on sale, but the Laura Mercier Caviar Sticks and Coco, if you've been here a while, you know my obsession with them. That is just amazing for an all over lid shade if you're wanting to go smoky or if you're wanting to tight line or line your waterline. That stuff stays in place all day and it lasts forever because you get like a thicker amount. These are really skinny and like I said, I feel like you go through them much quicker. Just an FYI or why as landed my son likes to say okay and then the other one is a first time steel it's from sunday riley it's their title brightening enzyme water cream it's going to be on sale for 32.50 i haven't used sunday riley in such a long time i went through bottles of their good jeans i love that stuff but the latest like night cream that i've been using is from tatcha it's their new indigo overnight repair cream you guys, whether you have dry skin or oily skin, if you are just looking for something to give you a soft, hydrated, plump, supple skin, that stuff is incredible. I've only been using it for about five nights, but I look forward to slathering it on my face every single night. It's so good. All right, here's the other product that I was talking about that I prefer over the Advanced Night Repair Serum stuff. On Wednesday, September 8th, the Lancome Advanced Genifique Anti-Aging Face Serum is going to be on sale for $26. I love this stuff. Now, obviously I'm not a dermatologist, so I don't know if this is right or not, but I feel like this serum is very effective, but it's not so harsh to where I feel okay mixing it with other products that have like retinols or acids in them. It's something that I feel like I can layer and it always works great. This is a product that I've gone through so many bottles of, and for whatever reason, I always forget to put it in my empties. This and the Kristen S dry shampoo. I don't know why I get so proud every time I finish one, but then I just chunk it in the trash. And then the other product is the Mario Badescu drying lotion. This is going to be on sale for $8.50 if you've never seen a drying lotion before. It's like a dual layered product. You have this like sort of pink sort of like almost, it looks like like calamine lotion on the bottom and a liquid on the top. You don't shake it up. You dip your Q-tip straight down and then you put that on a pimple and it's supposed to dry it out. To be honest, I have better luck with pimple patches, but 
way back when, whenever I was cutting hair at Ulta like years ago when I was pregnant, I remember everyone and their mother would come into Ulta looking for this and the silver powder that I want to say Mar Mario Badescu was still pretty new then, or they just, just had this like hype around them. But I remember every single person that would come in because our salon was always so slow. You'd be like, hey, do you guys have this drying lotion pimple cream stuff? And I'm like, yeah, it's right over here. Okay, Thursday, September 9th, we have the Too Faced Lip Injection Power Plumping Lip Glosses. There's 16 different shades. It's going to be on sale for $12. I have the, these injection glosses, but mine did not come in that packaging. And I love that packaging. I still use one that was a collab with, I forget her name. Like, so the shade was Social Butterfly. I love that gloss. The other product is the Glam Glow Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Hyaluronic Acid Moisturizer. I love these. They're going to be on sale for $25. It doesn't say different shades, so I don't know if it's just the classic version, but I have the one that has more of like a bronzy glow to it. Not only does it smell incredible, it just feels so good on the face and it leaves your skin just very glowy and dewy. It's such a beautiful moisturizer to use under foundation. And then on Friday, we have a first time steal. These are the Urban Decay 24 seven eyeshadows. There's going to be 30 different shades available. These will go anywhere from 950 to 11. I'm guessing there's going to be a difference from like the regular to the moon dust shadows. Urban Decay recently relaunched these again in like newer packaging instead of the old school, like silver circular compacts or these like clear square ones. I got a couple in from Urban Decay and to be honest, I decluttered them just because I have so many single shadows that I gravitate towards more. I mean, they're nice and, but I don't know, 950, like you can get ColourPop shadows for cheaper. I shouldn't say that though, because I've definitely spent money on other single shadows that I love, but um, the moon dust ones, I will say I definitely prefer over the regular ones because I feel like so many of the regular shades you can dupe out with other brands, but the Urban Decay moon dust ones are really nice. And then the other product is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascaras. Those are going to be 50% off. I have yet to find a Tarte mascara that works for me. I remember everyone used to love that mascara. People still do. They personally just don't work for me. Even like the splashes version that's waterproof, they just... I don't know, I've just never liked Tarte mascaras. On Saturday, we have another product from It Cosmetics. This is going to be a first time at Steel. I wish it was just their original CC cream because I could definitely use a refill of the CC Plus Illumination. I love that formula, but it's their Bye Bye Foundation at full coverage. And it looks like the same bottle as the CC cream, but it's not, it's their foundation. I have tried them before, they were too matte for me. It was just too much on the face. I wasn't a fan, but you know, base, complexion products are always personal preference. So if you love that one, that will definitely be your day. And then this is another item that I think would make a great gift. The It Brushes for Ulta. All the sets are gonna be on sale from 15 to 32.50. Those brushes are great. I know sometimes you see those and you're like, oh, It Cosmetics for Ulta, they're probably downgraded. They're still just as amazing as so many of the other It Cosmetics brushes in my collection. I love their powder brushes, their blush brushes. It just makes great brushes in general. The eye brushes aren't bad, but I definitely feel like it is very, It Cosmetics is very strong when it comes to their like complexion brushes. Okay, now moving on to week three, which is the final week on Sunday at September 12th from Bare Minerals, we have their Bare Pro Performance Wear Powder Foundations. These aren't bad. I don't feel like they're overly heavy or anything, but I just don't reach for too many pressed face powders. If I do, they tend to be more that are a little bit more illuminating. The other product is the Paracone MD Cold Plasma Plus the Intensive Hydrating Complex. This is such a pricey product. It's normally $179. It's going to be on sale for $89.50. I've seen this line featured so many times like at QVC and is it QVC? I think that's where I saw it. Sephora, they normally do some sort of kit during the holidays. I'm not gonna lie, I've been curious. If those products are in your skincare routine, let us know down below. Do you notice big results? Is it worth it? I must know. On Monday, September 13th, the Buxom Full Force Plumping Lipsticks are going to be on sale for $10. There's 22 shades. I have some favorites in here. I'm gonna go ahead and put swatches of the four shades that I reach for a lot. I just, I love the way they smell, the way they feel on the lips. Buxom makes really good lip products, both lipsticks and glosses. The CosRx Master Patch Set. These are some of the best pimple patches of all time. Like I said, I prefer these over the drying lotions. These are gonna be on sale for $9.50. I just find them to be very effective. I've used them on Layden as well. Even if it hasn't fully broken the surface yet, but you just feel like a deep underground are coming, I will slap one on right away. And I swear it heals a million times quicker than what it typically would if you let it 
fully blossom. Oh, that sounded gross. Tuesday, September 14th, we have something from Peter Thomas Roth. Their Potency Power Serum is going to be on sale for $49. I've had a sample of this before. I know a lot of people really like it, but um, I don't know. I've just used other vitamin C's that I prefer. Then we have the First Aid Beauty <clears throat> Water Break Face Cleanser. This is going to be on sale for $11. I don't know what it is about First Aid Beauty. The scents of a lot of their products just like I don't like them. They're unscented, but there's always like a weird kind of like sterile hospital smell to me that I'm not quite as crazy about. Wednesday, September 15th, the ABH Luminous Foundations are going to be on sale for $19. I want to say these were on sale last year too, and this was another product that I missed out on. I'm really curious about this, but I swear this is the one that I watched a review on where people said it actually wasn't that luminous, but I'm still curious. Then we have the Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Glow Setting Spray. That's going to be on sale for $16.50. All Nighter has been an all-time favorite for years and years and years. And believe it or not, I haven't tried the Glow version. So I might be adding, no, I probably will be adding this to my list because I just finished another bottle of All Nighter. Luckily, I have one little backup, but I love the Tatcha Luminous Mist. So I'm kind of curious to see how this compares. If you have both, what do you think? Are they comparable? And then they're also gonna have the All Nighter Ultra Glow Makeup Primer. You guys, if you've been here for a while, you know my love for primers. I'm so, so tempted by that product, but I'm not gonna do it. It's gonna be on sale for $18. If you needed a new glowy primer, maybe you could get it and let me know how it is. And if it's incredible and I'm missing out, just don't tell me because I don't need any primers. Okay, next up we have the Benefit Cosmetics Pore Professional Pore Minimizing Primer, Hydrating Primer, and pearl brightening primer. All those are gonna be $16. I hate the original Pore Professional. I know back in the day it was the bee's knees. I loved it. Everyone fell for it. Not everyone. I'm not gonna speak for you. A lot of people fell for it. It was good because at the time there was that primer and then like the Smashbox original primer and that was really it. So it was like, yeah, this is amazing. I've never even been like intrigued by the other primers as much as I am a primer junkie. That primer just turned me off of all benefit cosmetics primers. Then we're also gonna have the Strivectin Pro Tight Tightening and Brightening Face Serum for $49.50, or you could treat yourself to a blowout at Ulta for 50% off. We have Friday, September 17th, the ABH Norvina Palette is gonna be on sale for $22.50. I don't know, I just wasn't, to be honest, the very like last ABH palette that really made my heart flutter was the Jackie Aina one. Ever since then, everything that they've launched has kind of just been meh to me. They did relaunch the, what is that palette called? Sultry palette during the holidays. I was very, very tempted. I restrained myself, but besides that, I don't know. And purples, I have a lot of purples that just, pal that palette just isn't speaking to me. All right, and then we have another first time steal, the All About Eyes and All About Eyes Rich Cream from Clinique. It's going to be $17.50. I've actually gone through a full jar of that before. It is nice. I had the original version. I'm someone that's prone to milia, so the rich version would probably be too heavy for me. That's a product I definitely would pick up again if I didn't have a backup drawer of eye creams. It is really nice. A gel slash cream sort of hybrid. It just feels really nice and fresh on the under eye. And then the very final day, all of the Kylie lip kits are going to be on sale for $14.50. I know I saw Kylie recently like revamped everything, I guess. I've mentioned this before. I think I bought one product from Kylie Cosmetics ever. It was a holiday palette, which I do like, but I'm just not really into liquid lipstick. So that's not exciting to me whatsoever, but I know a lot of people have shades from her that she loves, so those will be half off. And then the very final product is a first time steal. It's gonna be the Clarence SPF Day Creams. Those are gonna be anywhere from $27.50 to $64.50. There you have it, a breakdown of the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. Let me know what your shopping list is down below, or like I said, if nothing sticks out to you, but you have a beauty lover in your life and you think they would love these products, this would be a good time to grab them while they're on sale, get you some Ulta points and just get some of your Christmas shopping out of the way. Just don't be like me and actually have like a designated spot for your Christmas gifts because I've done this before where I buy Christmas gifts throughout the year and I'm like so proud of myself. I'm like, oh my God, look at me getting things off my to-do list done. But then A, I either suck at surprises and I wanna give the person the gift immediately or B, I forgot that I bought it and then end up buying them other gifts but then I guess I could always like use them as stocking stuffers or something. Anyways, there you have it. As always, thank you so much for spending part of your day with me. If you liked what you saw today, I would really appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up, shared it with your friends, 
and family helps me and my channel out and that's pretty much it for today so i hope you have a great day and i will see you in the next one bye